Hey guys, welcome back. So this is, we'll start back with this. Let me uh, widen this up a little bit. All right, so same engine. This is where we started. And uh, earlier I made a mistake. I, I was looking at something else and the machine had defaulted to STD. So uh, I want you to notice that we're in SAE here. So 131, 143, and that is the muffler with the perforated core as it comes. Let's add louvered and my best one, here we go. So you can see with the addition of the louvered baffle, ah, uh, crap, um, we picked up quite a bit of torque here in this low range. I mean, this is, this is really nice. 120 immediately and progressively gets better. Also, I like to take note when people say, oh, bigger's better, makes more power. Um, we actually made a little more horsepower with the louvered core in there than we did with the perforated core. And of course, we made a, a touch more in the mid-range. Um, not a lot. So that was the louvered insert. Now, something that was very surprising to me was uh, this. So I'm going to pull out this this old red run for just a second here. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, where'd it go? And we're going to close this one out. Now, this was surprising. This is the spoon baffle, which is a much more restrictive baffle. And we made a touch more on the low end, and then it mirrored completely across the board. Max power. Uh, quite honestly, that's run to run. That's pretty close, guys. Torque that's that that's real close um you can see my humidity is moving around a little bit uh, temp's going to vary a touch as i'm making the runs um what i would say about that is that the spoon baffle as i showed you it's quieter and it has the ability to be adjusted now obviously for this test i don't have enough time to do that and that would have to be something that you would dial in for your specific build and then, of course, let's just, let's take the best one here that we made just a touch more torque, move, remove it, and this piece of junk. Yeah, that is just the straight can of a baffle. Um, this weird kicker in the middle was just a crazy AFR spike that I couldn't blend it on either side. And I quite honestly gave up because it just wasn't going to make a difference, as you can see. 127 to 135, that's a no-go. And 144, although that's a peak number. And that's where this gets caught, guys. A lot of guys will throw out a number, but they're not seeing the curve. So at the end of the day, if you want a baffle that's got, got some pretty good volume, the HP louvered cord has been my go-to. The spoon baffle has been my first opportunity to test it. It's quieter. And with this build, makes a touch more power, or sorry, a touch more torque. Enough to make a difference? No. But if you wanted something that was a little bit quieter, it would be a go-to and you wouldn't have to give up the power. Thanks for watching, guys. And it is 530 and I'm going to call it a day. Take care.